what to say, what to say. I really don't know how to feel about this game, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Cause there were definitely some parts that were not great. I would honestly say the majority of my time playing this game was kind of a slog. There's so little way to tell what you need to do next, and it's so easy to get, like, super lost. But you may be saying, but Mr. Aphid, in your previous video, you said that's what you liked about Pseudo Regalia, is that you could get lost all the time, and there was no where you were, like, supposed to go and stuff. And that's true, but also, at the same time, this is a different game. Obviously. So there's that, and also it's a different type of lost. In Pseudo Regalia, it felt like you were supposed to be lost. It felt like that was the gameplay. In this one, it's like a puzzle platformer, so like the point is you're supposed to be figuring out these puzzles and then doing the platforming in the puzzles, when in reality, I was just walking in circles saying I don't know where to go, and then randomly happening upon what I was supposed to be doing, or some random thing that I could do, which is not the optimal gaming experience, I must say. But at the same time, there were also some really fun parts. Like, whenever I did know where I was supposed to go, it was, it was top tier except for when the auto-targeting on the headbutt ability didn't work. Other than that, the parts where I knew what I was supposed to do were very fun. And I didn't include this in the video because if I included all the gameplay, the video would be like 14 hours long, and I'm not willing to do that. But I might have it like rolling in the background, but like the last area, there's like a big tower, it's very cool, spooky, nice. That part was definitely more fun than Alo's Hollow, but Alo's Hollow was like the majority of the game. But the tower was definitely more fun. It was way easier to tell what you're supposed to be doing, because like, I mean, obviously, get to the top of the tower. Wherever you are, like, you're supposed to get to the top of the tower. It's, it's, not, it's not that difficult to comprehend. I mean, it could be confusing on how you're supposed to get to the top of the tower, but I didn't find it to be particularly confusing unlike Allo's Hollow, but so this is what I mean when I'm I say I'm not sure on how I feel about this game because like like you have to understand it was made by like an indie dev was it wasn't made by one person or was it made by like a small team I don't I, I really don't know I'm, I'm too tired to look it up and you have to like consider the fact that this game was like seven dollars which was pretty freaking good and there were, were fun parts but there were not fun parts as well it'd be cool if there was like a demo so you could like try it out but there isn't so like oh well this definitely it definitely seems like a game that would be more fun playing on the second time through because i would actually know where to go and what to do and again like i don't know maybe this is just me maybe i'm just stupid maybe everyone else playing this game knew exactly where to go and what to do like i don't really have anything else to base this off of like no one else has played this game so i i like couldn't look up i can't watch any videos and like tell what other people were thinking about the game so it's kind of just my single opinion here which is not optimal for if you're like unsure of if you want to buy a game so you watch a video to see if you would like it and then and there's a random person who just talks about how bad it was and you're like oh well i guess it, i guess it's bad so i shouldn't play it but i don't think it was bad but was it bad uh so confusing if you want to pick up this game definitely be ready for a tough time like basically just what i described it being hard to like figure out where to go and what to do if you're okay with those parts being like rough and sometimes the objectives and or how to complete the objectives being very obscure then I'd, I'd say this is a pretty good deal again it's only seven dollars it's an indie game pretty freaking cool it's got a goat main character hell yeah but on how i would like rate this game uh i i have no idea i'd need to get more opinions than this this being my one singular opinion but yeah this game was i don't know 
This game was fun when it was fun, but when it was not fun, it was bad. So if you want to pick this game up, I think it's amazing. You'll be supporting indie creators, which is always good. Does it have some jank? Yes. But as long as you just remember everything, all the controls, this game is definitely hard, but still worth it. And after watching this video, I talked about most of the things that I think people would struggle with. But I mean, they might not. That might have been literally just me. Although I, I definitely think that it's hard to figure out what to do next in Aulos Hollow. I think that's the one thing that I could improve on this game. I definitely don't think I could do it. But if there was one thing that I would change, just like directions were a little bit unclear. Pretty happy with it. Would recommend, definitely. Alright, that'll pretty much do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed or found this useful, leave a like. And I'd love to hear uh, other people's opinions on this game, like what your experience is playing it. So if you have played the game, then I'd appreciate a comment so I can get some more opinions. As always, leave a sub if you're interested in watching more content like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!